hike on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. I'm out with my little doggy. She likes to slow me down with all her sniffing and yeah. So I'm at a interesting season. My girls are different church from us. And so they're not home yet. They went to a later service and wanted to visit grandma and grandpa. So I just could not stay inside on this gorgeous day. This is part of the Appalachian Trail. We once had family pictures over here. Here we go. Sadie's, oh, can you get up there? Sadie's crossing the Appalachian Trail. The one year we came, there were horses there and our girls actually, we took pictures of them like right, like they were touching the horses. Yeah, that's really pretty. Huh. Crossing over. Hang on. Don't pull me off this. Oh, my goodness. There's orange. I forget what they're called. There's more berries. Sadie's leading the way. Here. Coming to the end of this segment of the trail. You can see the road up here. All right, so we just came to the end of this segment of the trail. You can see the road here. I'm not even sure what road. Oh, yes, I do know what this is. Oh, this is Lisburn Road. Oh, this is cool. I don't think I ever have come this far. Maybe I have. But the other section is over there. We'll have to explore that another time. Sadie's getting a little antsy. Uh, but we're going to head back and I'm going to try to figure out how far this is. Anyway, um, I think we've been walking for about a half an hour or so. Such a lovely day. Alrighty, we will catch you on the other side. That is called a blaze. It's, to, it's a marker to let you know that you're on the Appalachian Trail. You're going the right direction if that's where you want to be. I learned this from my husband. He's more not much more knowledgeable than I am from working at a camp for eight years, eight summers um, when he was like in college. But sometimes you'll see a double blaze, and the one sits one's here and then like one's to the left or right. When it's like that, it tells you what if if you should turn left or right. I'm just letting her walk freely dragging her leash. It keeps her from running off. She's gotten used to it. She never used to, when we first did that, she would just stop and wouldn't walk with the leash dragging, but now she will. So it's kind of nice. My hands are free. Sadie's leading us out of the woods here. As she smells her or the other dogs. We can actually walk at a faster pace this way. She's not stopping as much and sniffing and peeing and so we'll definitely be making a better time on the way back here. Well, friends, this is the end of our hike. Hope you enjoyed it, and let's see where we end up next time. Bye. Hey, Sadie, wait. Don't run out of the road. Sadie's extremely thirsty. I'm glad I brought that, because she needed it, huh?
Hey, let me get your leash off. Hold on. Jump up. Go ahead. There she is. 